Okay, I think we should do an updated tattoo tour. Tattoo tour, okay. So, where should we begin? So this is my first tattoo ever, ever, ever. It's a 22 behind my ear. Can you, can you even see that? Jesus. Here, can you see that? Gorge. Okay, where next? I have baby blue. It's the only like script I have on my body. Baby blue here. I have a panther here. John Starr is my tattoo artist. Sadly moved to Cincinnati, I believe. Love you, John Starr. He told me to let him know if, if any red carpets happen in Cincinnati. And I said, you got it, John. So I said, oh, I really want like a little baby lamb. And he goes, oh my God, I would love to give you a panther. <laughs> love him so much, but it does look sick. Here I have a little um, frontier woman. Fuck me, I, have, I gotta take this shit off, hold on. I have a dog here, dog. The lighting is changing on your girl. I have Gabriel, the Archangel Gabriel here. Oh, and I have a little uh, boxer here, swinging and missing on my hand. Nobody really notices them. So I have it, one here and then I have two here, little equal sign here. My friend Michaela did my hand tattoos. She did a stick and poke and it's the only, the only one she knows how to do. Okay, and, and I love them. I have La Virgen Maria here. I have a calf here with its tongue sticking out. Cows are my favorite animal. Mm -hmm. I have a girl riding a gator here by my friend Tessa. She also did the boxer. She's over at Gnostic Tattoo in Brooklyn. The oldest tattoo shop in Bushwick. I have Mi Corazon here. I wanted to get like a big heart and I was at a tattoo party and my friend was like, don't do that. And I said, okay. I have Spider Woman here. Uh, I love James and the Giant Peach, so. I have a little cherub here. I have a smiley face tattoo I got with like four other, three other friends. None of us are friends anymore. Um, I have a woman sticking a knife in her head. I think it was in a time in my life where I'd found myself in a position that I put myself into. A role I did not enjoy. Is that all my arms? Yeah, and then I have, um, a tramp stamp here. People are like, oh, did you get that when you were a kid? No, I got it last year. I have a neck tat. It says 305. Born and raised in the county of Dade. I think that's a good update. Am I missing anything else? No, I don't think so. But you know, I never, I don't even see my tattoos anymore. Oh, I got this in Austin last year from Ephemeral. It's like a fading tattoo. Every tattoo is just like, that's a shitty, I'm like, I know. I also have a bird on my back. I don't know how I'm gonna show you. Can you see it? It's a blue heron from the Everglades because I was born in Florida. It's the only it's the only state where the more north you get, the more southern you are. But I'm from Miami, so yeah. So yeah. So show me yours. <laughs> Another little tattoo I gave myself before I end the video is this scar right here because last Thanksgiving, I um, was running out of my house and my shirt was wrinkly and I was already late. So I decided to steam the shirt while I had it on. 